Samsung Galaxy S24, I'm going to remove the back and show you how to replace the battery on this Galaxy S24. So the first thing is to hit the back cover of this device, the back glass of this S24 using a heat gun or a regular hair dryer can do the trick also. The back was heated for at least 40 seconds using the highest setting on my heat gun and then I grab a suction cup. You can see while I pull on the back cover, a small gap between the back glass and the frame of the device appeared. Then I will insert a guitar pick between the back glass and the frame of the device. Removing the back glass of the S24 safely without cracking it is the first thing to do. So with the guitar pick, I started to move it around right and left in order to detach the bottom portion of the back glass from the frame of the device. Then I started to hit the next area where I'm going to work, the right side of the device, and inserted the guitar pick on that side also. Make sure that the guitar pick is not inserted far inside because you have one of the flex cable that is very close to that area and can be damaged if the guitar pick is far inside inserted. Removing the back glass on this device is not difficult. You just need to have the right amount of heat on the back glass in order to move and remove the back cover from the frame of the device. So here again next to the cameras, you can see that I inserted only the tip of the guitar pick in order to avoid striking the cameras while I went through that area. If you use a common hair dryer, it will take a little bit more time than a heat gun because you do not have the same heat capacity with a common hair dryer. So with this Galaxy S24, I went through all the sides of the device and was able to detach the back cover from the frame of this S24. So here is the inside of the Galaxy S24. In order to access the battery, we need to remove the wireless coil and NFC that is on top of the battery. But for that, we need to remove a set of screws, primarily all the screws at the bottom of the device and also the screws retaining the wireless coil and NFC antenna. So just to show you, I have removed all the screws and this is the first flex cable that you need to disconnect. This is the one for the NFC and wireless coil. Since I have removed all the screws at the bottom of the device on the loudspeaker, when I pull on the NFC and wireless assembly, it went out with the loudspeaker. So here is the damage that was done on one of the flex cable when I inserted the guitar pick a little bit far inside. You can see this one is damaged. Now that I have access to all the cables, I'm going to disconnect the battery cable first. This is the first cable that you need to disconnect. After disconnecting the battery cable, you can simply disconnect and remove all the other flex cables that are on top of the battery. They are connected at the motherboard level and also at the bottom of the device. In order to replace the battery only, you do not have to remove the front speaker that was at the top of the device. Okay, now at this point, the only thing that is left to remove in order to start the removal process of the battery is the 5G antenna at the left of the device. You need to remove two screws that are holding the 5G antenna on that area. Removing the battery does not require you to remove the motherboard. As you can see, I have removed the motherboard, but you do not have to remove the motherboard in order to start the removal process of the battery. The next step was to lift the plastic pull tab that was attached on top of the battery. You can use a metal tool or a plastic tool if it is flat enough in order to start removing or lifting the pull tab from the battery. So now is the real struggle. You need to pull the plastic pull tab with a lot of force in order to start the battery moving in order to remove the battery out of the frame of this S24. As you just saw it, I had the device upside down in order to have enough leverage with my right hand to pull it, but it wasn't working. So I kept pulling on the pull tab and at the end, the pull tab simply went out of the battery without the battery moving. Samsung added the pull tab to make everything easy, but as you can see, it doesn't really get any easier with the pull tabs that they have added on the recent Samsung Galaxy devices. So I decided to use the heat gun in order to heat the front of the device so that heat will transfer through the screen and reach the back side of the battery, soften the double sided tape. So the heat gun was at 750 degrees Fahrenheit and I heated the front of the device for 30 seconds only. So currently I'm trying to find the best spot in order to insert my metal tool between the battery and the frame of the device and I will start pulling the battery slightly but not with a lot of force. So I tried at the bottom of the device, there were not enough space for me to insert the metal tool. So I had found this spot here near the top of the battery, very close to the battery flex cable. This is the area that I chose. I had enough space in order to insert the tool and after that I started to pull 
on the battery. Due to the limiting space, you just saw what happened. This is why you need to have a flat metal tool that is not sharp and that is not going to cut the battery. If you puncture the battery, the battery is no good and possibly it can create a fire or simply damage your device. I do not have a plastic tool that is flat and sturdy enough like the metal tool. This is why I use this metal tool to remove the batteries on all my tutorials. Instead of using a heat gun, you can add a little bit of alcohol on top of the battery and push the alcohol to the sides of the battery so that the alcohol will be in contact with the double-sided tape on the back of the battery. That method is also going to work and will help you remove the battery more easily since the double sided tape will be in contact with alcohol and it will not be as sticky as it is right now like i said i'm not pulling the battery with a lot of force you can see it if i were to pull with a lot of force i could damage the battery or puncture the battery this is why i'm taking my time and pulling the battery slightly in order for the battery to get lifted without pulling with a lot of force so currently I have one half of the battery already lifted and it is no longer in contact with the frame of the device. So at this point I could simply pull the battery with my hand and have the battery out of this Galaxy S24. Again having the design of the pull tabs on the new Samsung Galaxy devices makes things easy if they are working properly and you do not have any misfortune while pulling on the pull tab to remove the battery. But as you can see it is not as always the case. You can have some issues while pulling the battery or simply have the pull tab gone and not working. So here is the battery of the Galaxy S24. This battery is perfectly fine. There is no issue with this battery and you will have some kind of slight bend on the battery whenever you pull the battery even using the pull tabs. As always with Samsung Galaxy devices, you do not have to worry about replacing the battery on your Galaxy device since the battery is going to work directly with any motherboard. So basically you replace the battery on a Samsung Galaxy S24, you do not have to worry about anything. The battery is going to work as always and like the previous battery that you just replaced. If you have new double sided tape, you can reuse the back glass that you just removed. It is still good and not broken. You may also use B7000 if the double sided tape on the back of your back cover is messed up and it cannot be reused. Subscribe, like and share and I will see you on my next video.